Hi all, Mrs. Arndt here. Today we're going to be looking at creating the passenger base for the new blue T9 Automoblox pickup truck. This dimensioning page can be found under Courses, under Section 5.2. This dimensioning page shows us everything that we need to know to build this in Inventor. The only measurement that is missing is how far back this box is set. We could get that by using a dial calipers. So let's begin. Open Autodesk Inventor, and we are going to start a new part file. You can use right click to create a new sketch. And let's put this on the XY plane. Begin with a rectangle. It's going to be 1.98 inches wide and 1.59 inches tall. Once again, this is all coming from the dimensioning drawing found in section 5.2. Now that we have our rectangle, we'll start by building those uh, kind of A-shape frames. So let's create a few lines. And for right now, we'll just try to make things horizontal, get things to match up, I'm not too worried about any measurements. And close up the shape there. Now we need to start dimensioning. Placing this particular shape. The drawings page lets us know that it needs to be 0.19 from the left. And then it starts stacking a lot of measurements, um, so we can do a little bit of subtraction. Um, so this bottom left leg uh, would be 0.44 minus 0.19. So we can either do the math ourselves or get Inventor to calculate it for us. It's 0.25. The other leg is the same size. Once again, you can get that from subtracting. Um, we could set it equal to the first dimension that we placed there, which is uh, actually dimension D3. That way it's fixed and will always base itself off of that left leg. The width of the uh, cutout in the middle is 0.16. And the width of the top, um, again, doing a little bit of math, 0.79 minus 0.25. And it looks like some things, you know, got a little bit out of whack, a little bit out of shape. Uh, but that's because we need to include a few more um, dimensioning pieces, like how far it is from the left side to the, um, to the top there. It's 0.25. And I believe that sets everything up horizontally. In addition, we need to uh, set this up vertically. So from the bottom edge up to the bottom of the leg, that distance is only 0 0.06. The height from uh, the leg to the top of the cutout is 0.32. And the full height from the bottom leg to the top would be 0.71. I believe that sets up everything vertically as well. Now is a great time to save and make sure that we don't lose the work that we've done so far. Uh, we can't save in sketch mode, so yes to exit sketch mode and save this as our passenger base. Put your initials in there. You can put in version 1 in case we end up having to um, change our, our version later. But we want to go back into the sketch. We don't want to start anything new. So over on our browser, browser bar, double click on sketch 1, brings us right back into it. 
So there are numerous ways that we can create the other three A-frame shapes uh, in this passenger base. One way to do it is to use the rectangular patterning. Um, I kind of prefer to make the rectangular pattern go vertically, and then once I have that, to mirror it uh, to create the other two. So the geometry that we're going to pattern is our A-frame and just the A-frame. You can select things individually or you can uh, highlight the shape. Direction 1, click on something vertical and then it's going to shift it down but we want it to shift the opposite way so let's flip it. It's going to shift it up and right now the spacing is at one inch so it's shifting it up uh, too, too high, too far. The shift that we need to make happen here is 0.76 inches. That way it um, bumps it up and ultimately it'll keep that distance from the tops uh, to be equal to the 0.06. And click OK. If we want to double check that our uh, shift was correct, we can dimension from the top to the top of that A-frame and it is 0.06. It's already constrained. Um, as you can see in the bottom right, we are fully constrained at this point. One last thing in this part one of the passenger base would be to mirror these two A-frames over onto the other half. Uh, but in order to do a mirroring, we need a line of symmetry to flip over. Uh, so let's create a construction line. and right in the middle of our rectangle where it turns green that's where the uh, center is located create a nice construction line there to flip over and now for our patterning let's choose mirror and we will select uh, either everything individually or draw a nice rectangle around everything we want to flip and only the things we want to flip select mirror line to choose our axis to flip over Click Apply, and done. Be sure to save your work.